Formula One visited its second street circuit in a row as round eight of the 2022 season got underway in Azerbaijan. It's Pride Month and teams were keen to show their support. Alpine with a colorful stripe along their rear central fin and the Silver Arrows sporting a rainbow-infused Mercedes logo. On the day that marks the 15th anniversary of Lewis Hamilton's first F1 victory at the 2007 Canadian Grand Prix, the seven-time world champion had a problem at turn four and took to the escape road. Mick Schumacher had an issue early doors, his Haas leaking fluid onto the Baku City circuit. Yeah, it's a torque protection because of the water pressure. It's okay, so we'll just come in slowly, Mick. Okay, Mick, we need to stop the car, we need to stop the car. Nicholas Latifi was another to suffer a technical problem. The Williams driver forced to abandon the track at turn five. The car just died. The car just died. Okay, okay. Yeah. It, it, uh, it switched off the power completely and then it came back on and restarted the engine. I don't know what that means, but it's obviously off now. Aston Martin's Lance Stroll gave the turn 15 barrier a bit of a clout. And Charles Leclerc narrowly avoided doing the same. The monogasque just managing to keep his Ferrari out of danger. Both Scuderia drivers complained of excessive bouncing, which no doubt will be enhanced this weekend due to Baku's extremely long final straight. Leclerc felt he was blocked by George Russell on a flyer, and Sebastian Vettel also made his feelings plain when his Aston Martin came close to Alpha Tauri's Claire Gasly. The Frenchman was another going long at turn 15 as the final minutes of the session leaked away. Weather conditions also played their part in FP1, with gusty winds often catching drivers unawares. Yeah, wind is pretty insane. Can't be that bad. Defending champion Max Verstappen had a spin in the dying seconds. Red Bull and Verstappen in particular have had DRS issues recently, and Sergio Perez's RB18 was sporting Clover's paint on the rear wing as the team attempted to get to the bottom of the problem. The Mexican driver scored his first win with the Milton Keynes outfit here 12 months ago and looked in fine form as he put in the fastest lap of the day, a 1 minute 45.476. Leclerc was a tenth off the leader in P2 